Hey, I'm Kristen, and think of me as your average consumer. I'm not perfect. I still buy things in plastic because there are so many good vegan options on the market that come in plastic, and I just can't say no. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just very tempted. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay? I'm trying. I'm gonna start making videos showing you that you don't have to go out of your way. Not everyone is going to be going to a refill shop or a natural foods store. Not everyone has access to these things. So how in the heck can you be more sustainable, live more eco-friendly in your own life, even if you have like 10 children, which wowza, props to you if you have 10 children, but anyways, how can you live more sustainably and eco-friendly? I'm gonna show you basic, basic little things that are gonna help because I know it is super overwhelming. You have so many options. Even the eco-friendly options are packaged in plastic, which is just uh, too much. So let's get into the video today, shall we? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm gonna show you my zero, zero waste, um, low waste, eco-friendly, save the planet bathroom essentials, what I use. It's not a lot. What are we gonna cover first? Brushing your teeth. Now, obviously, I would recommend a bamboo toothbrush. It's not weird, like people think you're gonna have like that, you know when you go to the doctor and they put that stick on your tongue and you go, uh, well, it doesn't taste like that. You know when you get that kind of like woody taste in your mouth? This toothbrush doesn't do anything. It's wowy. I get them off of Amazon, that's the brand. I'll link those down below, but honestly, like, it's not like a transitional adjustment type thing that you have to get used to. It's just a toothbrush that's not made of plastic. Use a bamboo toothbrush. And then let's talk about toothpaste. A lot of zero wasters say, yeah, just use baking soda and coconut oil. And I'm sorry. I've never tried it, but I just, I can't, I can't get myself to try something like that. Like, I just can't do it. I'm not down with that stuff. I am your average Joe consumer. I'm not gonna be buying that. So, I wanted to find something that had some sort of eco-friendly, reusable, recyclable packaging. Anyways, let me show you what I use. So, I'm gonna be honest. This is in plastic. Let's backtrack. When you're trying to be low waste and zero waste, you need to plan ahead of time. I don't care what people say. I ran out of toothpaste and I didn't plan ahead of time. I didn't realize I was out. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. And so I needed a natural toothpaste and a pinch. And I got good old Schmitz. I love Schmitz. I just wish they had better packaging instead of plastic, but I'm almost done with this. I am prepared. I have David's toothpaste. This is actually a metal tube, um, so you can recycle this. I have used this before and I like it, so this is what I use for toothpaste. I'm not down with the coconut oil baking soda thing. If you are, that is awesome, but I am just, I don't know, I just can't do it. So there we go. Okay, now let's talk about washing our hands. The basic thing you do every day. You wash your hands a lot, or you should be washing your hands a lot. I wash my hands a lot because I would get sick a lot as a kid and in college and I just like, I'm trying to reduce the times I get sick in a year. So I wash my hands a lot. So what do I use? Good old handy dandy bar of soap. I mean, come on you guys. Get a bar of soap. There's a ton of local soap makers in your communities, I'm sure. If there aren't, there are a ton of places online that you can buy soap either in paper or in a little paper box. Whole Foods, I know, actually sells soap without packaging. You just use a basic bar of soap, right? It's not that crazy of a concept. And then you have your good old handy dandy Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. So I have like a massive gallon jug of this stuff and it works for everything. I've talked about it before, I use it for cleaning and all kinds of stuff. I have the baby unscented Castile soap. I've had this little bottle. I think my mom got this for me a few years back. I just refill this little guy. I've just been refilling it with either bulk soap at different stores or 
if I don't have like a refill bulk store nearby that I can get soap, I get that gallon jug that I was talking about and I refill it at home. So now that I'm in the shower bathtub area, let's get right into it. I am so basic and people buy so many products, which is fine. If that's your prerogative, do it. But I am just not that type of person that's gonna buy a million products just to bathe. I used to be like that. When I was at Lush, I would have and buy a lot of blush products but since then trying to be more economical and more realistic with my life so here we go products wise I have the plain products shampoo and conditioner and this stuff I love um, you get these in stainless steel containers they come with little lids and then you can screw on the little top pump part yourself and when you're done with these you can send them back to plain products They'll send you new bottles, but they will reuse these bottles for someone else to use. Um, and they come with little like caps on top, so you don't have to worry about anything. I have the Rosemary Mint Vanilla Scent. I used up all my shampoo, and for Christmas, somebody that you might have seen in my videos before got me bulk shampoo and conditioner. I'm still working on the plain products conditioner, so when I'm done with that, I'm gonna fill it up with this, which is from a refill shop bulk conditioner. I'm gonna fill it up, put it in here. I've got a little funnel thing. It's great. But yeah, this is from, I think, the brand Alafia. And it's the vanilla mint conditioner. When I'm done with that, I could send this back to Plain Products and get more of that. Or there's a local refill shop nearby, which of course, not a lot of people have that in their areas. But these are a little pricey as well. There are a ton of other options if you're trying to be more low waste. You could get shampoo bars, conditioner bars. And then of course for body wash, same thing. Use a bar of soap. Use some Dr. Bronner's, get it in a big gallon jug, refill, get a bar of soap. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then you guys are probably wondering like, how do you shave? What do you use? I came from this mindset growing up that just buy a ton of things and you'll eventually use them, right? Not the best way to live your life. So I have a crap ton of like razors from Costco and I'd buy them in like one of those big old plastic box things for like Gillette razors. So I'm still going through those. I'm gonna be completely honest about that. Went through those before I was like trying to be cruelty free with cosmetic products and going vegan and all of that. So if you have stuff, use them. It's not like I'm saying get rid of all your plastic, get rid of all of this, that, and the other because that's not zero waste at all. So I'm being realistic about it. I still have a lot of razors to use and I use them for way longer than most people use them. So use what you have and that's totally fine. Use up all your things and then when you're repurchasing new things, have that eco-conscious mindset, you know? Think about, hmm, how is this going to affect the planet? Is this company also in line with my values? So. That's something to think about as well. So now let's talk about deodorant. Deodorant is so hard to find plastic free. Even if you're looking for like super natural deodorant without aluminum, it's really hard to find that. I think your best bet, honestly, is gonna be looking online. I realize baking soda and my skin are not friends. They are definitely enemies. So the whole baking soda, deodorant thing was not working for me. So I discovered, it's called Meow, Meow Tweet. So I usually get the glass jars. I got this compostable little deodorant stick. So I'll hold it under my armpit and wait till it kind of melts and heats up, depending on the time of year, of course, but it melts and it just lathers on under your armpit. So they have baking soda deodorant and they have baking soda free deodorant. So I always get the baking soda free deodorant. I'm all about that grapefruit scent. They do have bulk deodorant now. I think it's like nine point something, 9.4 ounces or something like that. So I'm gonna do that. I will let you know how it goes, but you can send back those jars from their refill program and then they will reuse those. So they're the big old jars. And I'll show you guys once I do that. I will be doing that soon because my deodorant stick is like up to here now. So I'm gonna need some new deodorant soon. And yeah, I have a ton of deodorant jars from them that I just haven't refilled with stuff, but I'm holding on to them. So 
I will let you know how it goes. That is my summary of my bathroom basic essentials. I'll do like a separate video on my skincare. I'm still working on it, but what I've been using has definitely been helping my skin. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's coming soon. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys use any of these products, let me know down below. Let me know what you think, if you like them, if you don't. If you guys have any other products that you use and love, please let me know. I would, I love hearing about like low waste, zero waste products that are on the market. And if you guys haven't subscribed, it would mean so much to me if you would hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, bye!